dare I say that Ikea is actually on trend in 2023? I mean, no more really basic white furniture that works but just screams dorm room. They are bringing it in 2023 and I'm gonna show you my favorite finds. If you're new here, hello, my name is KB and I believe everyone deserves a beautiful home regardless of their budget and I like to show you affordable selections and that's why Ikea is one of my favorite stores. Let's just jump right into today's video. Now, Ikea was already on trend with the Hovet mirror. This mirror has been so popular for I think the last five years because it is a massive, massive mirror and mirrors this size normally cost you upwards of $300. But what they've done new now is, now is that they now offer the Hovet mirror in black. It used to only come in silver so you'd have to paint it or put something on it to really make it work with your design style if silver wasn't the color for you. But now it comes in black which is much more versatile and I think it's going to be a huge hit. I will say the price has definitely gone up since I own the Hovet mirror but that has kind of happened across the board but it's still relatively affordable. Now Ikea has this new collection. I'll put the name up on the screen right now. Let's jump into the first one. This is a wall lamp. This wall lamp is $70 and I'm gonna be honest, it's really cool. It's really cool. It looks like a glazed donut and I don't know if that's just like the person who likes donut, donuts and me saying this, but I think it's very cool. If you follow Danny Cleric, she had that lamp um, that looked like a baguette. People are really into lamps that look like food or just atypical lamps right now. We like putting weird things up on the wall, especially with the popularity of pieces of art that are not to scale on the wall. With that increase in popularity, we've also seen lamps that kind of follow suit. And that is exactly what you're getting into the collection. But I can't help but say that this does look like a crispy cream donut. And I think that's high praise because they make the best donuts. We can debate about that down in the comments. But with that being said, um, I don't know that this piece is necessarily for everyone, but it is showing that Ikea is making more elevated pieces. The next light in that collection is actually a pendant lamp. So it's a chandelier. Let's just call it that. I think that's something that we can digest a little bit easier. And I am obsessed. It basically just looks like LED light ropes kind of suspended from a plate. This is something that actually Kelly Wurstler has a version of. And obviously that one is gobs and gobs and gobs of money. It's so much money. I'm not even look it up because it would truly be a waste of our time because none of us are buying it but I love this light it does look like an LED light rope on the IKEA website you can't truly see all of it and all of its beauty which is kind of disappointing this is one I definitely want to go see in person but I love the look of this. If you're into brutalism, industrialism, modernism, I think that this is going to be a fantastic piece for you, but it is a little bit visually affronting. It's like a sculpture coming out of your ceiling. It's not so much like, oh, this is a nice lamp. This is a piece of art coming out of your ceiling. So if you're gonna do something like this, this is going to be the statement piece in that room. The next lamp in this collection truly looks like the sun. So this is a wall mirror sash lamp kind of put together. It is reflective. It looks like the sun. You kind of get a different experience depending upon what what perspective you're looking at it at um, and whether the light is turned on or off. I really do love the visual pay play here. It really makes it a piece of art instead of just like a lamp on the wall with the reflective materials. Will I say that this is for everyone? No, I think this is going to be great in a maximalist household where you have a lot of different pieces up on the wall kind of competing for one another. This is also a really good item if you do not like down lighting and you like to have all of your little accent lamps. This is a great way to get some lighting further up on your wall closer to where your overhead light would be be. Now, one thing I do not like about this is the cord. The cord is extremely apparent. It's extremely, extremely apparent. So either you're going to have to use a cord cover or you're going to have to hide it inside type of gallery wall. So there is going to have to be some thought behind using this. It's not just going to be an easy peasy fix. And the very last lamp in this collection looks kind of just like a tube on the wall. It is interesting. This is what I will say. And I feel like I need to say this before someone calls me ignorant down below. I think if you get it, you get it. If you are not into the style of design, and you don't know the history, it looks kind of like someone took a hula hoop and they put it on the wall. I think I can understand both perspectives and I think it's really important to bring all of that to the table when discussing these pieces. Do I like it? Yes, it's visually interesting. Again, it would go again in a maximalist household or a very minimalist household, right? Um, the placement of this is going to be extremely key, but again, that cord is extremely apparent. So just keep that in mind before you pick this one up. Now, of course, I like to talk about products from Ikea that run all of the different design styles not just the design style that I love. So now I wanna talk about this bed. So this bed is $2.99, which again is relatively expensive for a bed from Ikea, but I love this rattan headboard.
headboard. So you get two pieces for the queen of this headboard and I love the texture there. I love that it is genuine rattan. This is something that you could spray paint to be white, be black, be pink, to kind of fit with whatever style you want. I love that people are really leaning into texture. We started to do that at the end of 2022. We're really seeing that in 2023. So this is something um, that I love. If you're trying to make your bedroom um, a little bit more um, provocative, right? But I will say because this, this bed is so expensive, they actually do just sell the rattan pieces as a headboard for I believe $66, so a lot more affordable. And you can use this to fill up a big blank wall. You can do absolutely anything with this. Um, so I did want to present this to you in case you have a DIY project up your sleeve. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Ikea has also really, really killed it with the office materials um, because a lot of us are still working from home. I am definitely work from home. And this monitor stand is really iconic. I love all of the different ways you can use this monitor stand. I like that it's sleek. I like that there's storage underneath. It doesn't make your monitor too high, but you can make it higher if you want to. So I think it works well for a laptop. It also works for a desktop computer. And I love that you could paint it really easily if you wanted to or cover it in peel and stick wallpaper. I love that it's not acrylic because I think acrylic is like the main type of monitor stand you see these days, but acrylic attracts fingerprints and dust. And I don't love that. So I love that this is an opportunity to introduce a nice warm wood tone. I love when we have wood accents um, because we get a taste of nature. We get the taste of like a more luxurious material um, in a place where we might not necessarily expect it. Now of all the items in today's video, I think this is going to be a hit for you. So this is a set of two pieces of wall decor. So these are screaming. So they're not made of plaster, but they look a lot like those plaster art pieces that have kind of taken over the world recently. I'm going to tell you guys, I tried to make some and they look so bad. I had to have one 800 junk come get them because there was so much plaster absolutely everywhere I couldn't put it in like our normal dumpster in the apartment they would have find me so I had to pay for them to remove it but anyway this kind of looks like those plaster sculptures that are really really big right now so as I said earlier Ikea is on trend at this point in time um you can put them on the wall you get the set of two for the price but you can also use them on a tabletop as a place to store your keys to store your earrings to store your rings you can use this in novel ways I think if you've been looking for something really earthy to put on your coffee table and you couldn't find it I think that this is it now Ikea finally has a soap dispenser that doesn't look like it's from Dollar Tree and again there's nothing wrong with Dollar Tree you guys know I'm a huge Dollar Tree fan and there's a Dollar Tree video coming soon so be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can watch that video it's gonna be super good but their other soap stands were just giving cheap. They're giving cheaply made. They're giving cheap in terms of look. The gold was just way too gaudy. It was way too yellow. But not with this one. This one is $12.99. I love the ribbed glass. I love the finish of this gold. It's giving luxury. There are other pieces in this set. So this is a great way to get like a, a kind of vintagey look with something new in your kitchen or in your powder room, which I love having those options because finding something vintage just isn't always feasible. And I don't know if I'd ever pay for a laundry been this small, but I have to talk about this new laundry bin from Ikea. It's $60 and it is on casters. And I just love a good laundry bin on casters so that you don't have to pick up all that laundry that you forgot to do for three weeks. You can just roll it where you need to go, right? It doesn't need to become a hindrance upon your life. And I love that this has casters and it's really minimal. And if you have any type of shelving in your laundry room or elsewhere in your home, you can kind of just shove it in there. It will also fit in between most toilets and most vanities. So I love the convenience factor there. And right now Ikea released so many different doormats. I'm not going to talk about them all because frankly I do not care but this one I do like um, because it's just like the big blobs it's a blob doormat for only ten dollars I love this this is something I might honestly take and like frame if I wanted a piece of art um, but it's cute it's something non-traditional I, I really love that this doesn't say welcome to my home like obviously you're at my home I'm not trying to be negative about you being in my space but I want something that um, kind of sets the tone for my design style I want to start my design style the second you touch my property right and a doormat is a great way to do that now I'm pretty sure they've had this chair in other colors before, but now they offer this chair in yellow. It is $85 a lot of money for one chair? Yes, you can go on Amazon, you can go on Wayfair, you can go, not Target, you can't do this from Target, but you can go on Amazon, Wayfair, and Walmart and get a set of chairs, a um, set of two chairs for that price sometimes. $85 is a lot of money for this chair, but this chair is sexy. It's giving. It looks like my back would hurt after sitting in it. And I, again, I have to, I have to tell you the pros and cons here, um, but it is cute. I love the yellow. Yellow is becoming one of my favorite colors. Um, 
mm, it's just like so moody. I love it. Um, yellow is one of my favorite colors. I love the fabric. It's giving sculpture, but it's also giving chair. It's giving sculpture and chair and sculptural chairs normally are like $700 and then you can't actually sit in them. So I love that this chair is still somewhat functional and it is an art piece. Now, if you don't want to pay $85 um, per chair for an entire set of chairs, use these chairs at the heads of your table and then do something more affordable on the sides. That is a great way to mix and match tastefully. Well, from my understanding, they got rid of the Ipper legs and I can't want to know why. Why would you do that to us? We love them and we prayed the price tag, but they have a new work lamp and I'm pretty happy with it. It seems kind of like a new version of the Ipper leg. Um, so this is cute. It's sexy. It's giving. It is a, uh, it's a work lamp. So it can go on your desk. It can go on your nightstand. I love the task lighting that it provides. I just wish it was a floor version. So hear me when I say that. Um, but if you're working, looking for something sleek and contemporary for your office or your bedroom, this is a really good piece for you. Ikea has a good shoe box. They have a good shoe box. It's a scuff and shoe box. And I think it's, I, I think it's as good looking as a shoe box could be you know there's people who are like shoe connoisseurs and they all have like the lacks i think this is going to replace the lack i like these shoe boxes they look like they can fit a variety of sizes of shoe and style of shoe i bought shoe boxes before and he only fit like one boot and i'm like okay so this actually feels seems like it can um accommodate a lot of things i think you could also use this for legos and gameplay and stuff like that and like a really fun way to display them because i think you could throw some led light bars in here as well and kind of play around with them i know you're like wow keep you're thinking way too outside the box well that is my job but i do like these shoe containers this led floor lamp makes a lot of sense to me so this led floor lamp is 100 dollars. i'm sorry this lady is in the way but this is what ikea wanted to provide us this floor lamp is great because it's going to illuminate your corner this is something that you want to place in a corner of your room can you get this for cheaper on Amazon absolutely but you can pick it up really easily from Ikea and we cannot forget the convenience factor that comes with Ikea this is really great for corners um, behind your television for movie rooms it's about illuminating a really dark space um, with an item that is very inconspicuous so if you need some way to light a space like that this is the type of light you do want to pick up now they also have a wall version of this lamp and it's not anything like the floor version so it, they just happen to have the same name but this one is cool it reminds me kind of of like Miss Pac-Man and all in one but it's a it's a wall light um i think this is very niche i think this is super niche it's not something that everyone pick up again it's maximalist um it's someone who's really into lighting maybe like a photographer a videographer um i think ikea is making pieces now with certain types of people in mind which is actually what we want stores to be doing so i do appreciate that even though this is not widely applicable i don't think joe schmo would pick this one up now i talked to you about the new hobat mirror but now they actually have a new version of the nissadol mirror which is my all-time favorite mirror from Ikea and they now have a Nissadol in the walnut color so if you're mid-century modern if you're modern organic if you're bohemian and you wanted the Nissadol but you didn't like the black or white now you have a walnut finish available to you what I love about this mirror is that it actually sticks size so the glass is pushed back a little bit so that there is a lot more dimension this is really great in your entryway in your living room on either side of your bed I cannot say anything bad about this mirror. They are absolutely fantastic and they have some weight to him. So there is um, a, a level of quality there. Now, hear me when I say this, I absolutely would never, ever, ever pay $40 for a wall clock, but this one is cute. So I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna talk about things even though I'm not gonna buy them, right? Because I'm trying to cut back. So this Rob Blotta wall clock, it's just, it's minimal. So if you're doing a gallery wall in your office or you like to put a clock in your kitchen, my grandmother always liked to do that. This is actually one I would use because it's chic, it's minimal. Um, so this doesn't actually have the numbers on. It, but it is very sleek chic and cute ikea also has a brand new mirror that is right out of the restoration hardware and bassett furniture character this is the alma rod mirror it's 180 dollars and it is just a curved mirror that has some studding to it it comes in black i honestly find the black to be a little bit harsh a little bit affronting but this is something that you can paint i do like it much more than their other gold mirrors they've come out with their other gold mirrors are just this ugly crusty gold that makes me sad and makes me want to crawl in a corner um but this is not that i just think the black is harsh but if you're into dark academia this is it for you but i really believe you can paint this i don't think it's going to be as difficult as it can be to paint other items from ikea now i don't oftentimes talk about ikea rugs but i love this one this is a blue rug um, with yellow detailing i love blue i love yellow so obviously i want to talk about this this looks luxurious this looks luxurious and the price differences with all the different sizes they only vary by 50 dollars uh, down and 50 dollars up class amazing i love it 
I just love it. I love the pattern. I love the texture. Um, I love that we're getting some visual interest. This is something I'd put in a modern eclectic home. I'd put it in a modern home. I'd put it in an Afrocentric home. Ah, it is just to die for. I love this rug. If I needed a rug, I'd pick it up, but we went to the storage unit last weekend and I had so many rugs that it's just a storage unit full of rugs. So I'm gonna cut back, but one of you should definitely get it. Now this, this is the product of today. I'm hitting the table for emphasis, so if you're confused, that's what I was doing. This sofa is that girl. This sofa is that girl. This sofa is the cloud sofa from Ikea. This sofa is the Mario Bellini sofa from Ikea. This sofa is that girl. So this sofa, it's a modular sofa. There's so many different configurations, but it's not really the, the, the style of the sofa, it's the covers. Sometimes Ikea has the ugliest covers, but these are just giving. I love the corduroy fabric. I love the green, I love the brown, I love the, Oh, I love it all. I love it all. I've never actually loved anything from Ikea so much so that I wanted to stand on a soapbox and I'm going to stand on a soapbox from this. Now I haven't sat on it yet. I haven't sat on it yet. So let me say that. And I generally find Ikea sofas to be relatively uncomfortable. I do want to say that, but this one is giving. This is that girl. And that's all I have to say about the sofa because you're looking at it and I know you're agreeing with me. Now we also have this coffee table, which is a part of that lighting collection. Um, it would work if you're really into Danish pastel design. It's not it for me. It's not it for me. I don't really, again, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And this is one of those things that I do not get even with like ample design knowledge. This is just not resonating with me, but this is this is a cool collection and I can appreciate the art. Last product I wanna talk about today's video is this privacy screen. It's $95 and this is just a cheap way to get the slotted wall uh, affordably. I'm not saying you need a privacy screen in your house, so this both works indoors and outdoors, but this is a great way if you're trying to do a slat wall to cheat the system because it can be like $300 a panel on um, Wayfair. Well, not anymore because we're gonna to go to Ikea. I like this. Again, you can paint this. This is good for a studio to give yourself some privacy that's still a little bit open. Um, I love the potential of the screen, which is why I wanted to talk about it today. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. Those are new products from Ikea in 2023 that I'm pretty hyped about. Some of them I appreciate, but I don't really care for. Other ones, I think they're it. And there's some of them that are winner, winner, chicken dinner. I mean, they are absolutely fantastic. Let me know down in the comments what products you love from Ikea in 2023 because I'm super hyped and I know I'm gonna spend some money that I don't need to spend. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.